Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Full Metal Sergeant, which is a, I guess, strategy military management style game where you're put in charge of a training camp and also, uh, I guess, deploying soldiers on uh, on a mission after they've uh, after they've endured. Uh, your stewardship as you as you lord over them. Anyway, uh, let's jump into things. I'll explain what the heck is going on and we will get right down to it. Um, yes, let's sir. jump into a brand new game. We've got this sort of chanting in the background, which I think is actually pretty darn unique. Uh, welcome, Drill Sergeant. Your duty is to train the recruits assigned to this camp. For 12 weeks, you will condition their bodies and strengthen their minds for the rigors of war. The camp is likewise yours to develop. Every recruit who graduates and every competition you win will raise your prestige in our eyes and likely convince us to release additional resources for your training efforts. Pretty darned basic concept. Uh, yeah, I will be dragging um, the recruits to uh, to their assigned training location. Uh, but first, we're going to chat about exactly what is going on. Uh, well, um, first things first, we've got a couple of buildings that are sort of situated around the map, and um, this will become sort of, I guess, more, uh, it'll become busier uh, as we as we get into things. Uh, but for now, you can see our, uh, our barracks. Um, there's, what, what, three people here? We've got Lunchbox, we've got Not So, and we've got Skinny. Uh, and it's sort of worth diving somewhat down into what's going on here. Uh, so, for example, everybody is 100% stamina, people have got zero stress, everyone's level zero at the moment, everyone has um, different stats, and these stats are very, very relevant. So, um, at the moment, uh, these are just sort of, I guess, independent stats, but as you can see, the blue text there, uh, this is all for when the mission, when the mission begins, uh, these are what those stats are going to translate into. Uh, strength, capacity to carry supplies, melee when the ammunition runs out, uh, uh, agility for, uh, for stealth operations, Shooting, percentage to hit, intelligence, affects reloading speed, and discipline affects chance to flee combat. You don't need to remember that. It's not super essential at this moment in time, uh, but it is worth noting. Uh, it's also worth noting that everybody has, um, I guess, like a, what is this, a trait? It's not a positive thing, that's for sure. Um, but we can get rid of them, and we absolutely will. Um, so, for example, um, this trait we can get rid uh, of uh, with agility training. Agility training will eventually remove this trait. This trait we can uh, remove with intelligence training as well. So everything can sort of be countered, and if we're able to do that, then we're going to get extra prestige. What is prestige, I hear you ask? Well, uh, prestige is, I guess, the uh, the upgrade points in this system, or in this game, uh, the, upgrades, the upgrade point system in this game, um, and we can spend them in the office. This is where we this is where we spend our upgrades. Um, we've only got a limited amount of prestige at the moment, uh, but we can buy additional training facilities, cannon clearing, for example. We can buy a guardhouse. Uh, a recruit can be sent there to recover stamina and stress, um, and that's all very good and well. We can get the running track. We can get no man's land, swimming pool, shooting range. Uh, knee shooting, we can get crawling mud. All of this sort of stuff trains different abilities, and this is all super handy uh, for when we get to the end of the 12 weeks. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Well, we've got four sort of, I guess, primary training areas. This will also develop into a running track if we were able to get, uh, if we're able to get this. Um, but we've got what we have, and we, we actually can see if I, if I, uh, hover, a, hover, a, hover a gentleman over here. Uh, we can see you are the strength area. Um, so this is going to give us minus two stamina plus three stress. This is the agility training area plus one agility and gives us uh, and gives us stress. I should note, by the way, that these modifiers, uh, yeah, when stamina is less than 90, this recruit is a 50% probability to fail in strength, agility, and in melee training. So what we really want to do is we want to try and remove these traits if we can pretty much as soon as possible. So Lunchbox and Skinny, I'm afraid, are going to be doing agility training uh, pretty much until they've removed that trait, which is good because it's going to get rid of... Um, it's going to get rid of the prestige, or it's going to give us a prestige bonus, and it's going to get rid of the negative trait. Uh, so on that front, I think we um, we will be hopefully, uh, yeah, hoping to achieve that. Um, I don't think that we have any way to get rid of the the dumb trait at the moment, unfortunately, but hey-ho. Anyway, um, what else have we got up here? Well, we've got week one, normal conditions, it's sunny, that's fine. Uh, we've also got training points. This is how many times we can deploy everyone to train. Uh, let's get you and you over to there, and I guess we'll get you over to here. Um, we maybe could prioritize people in certain areas, but I mean, other than like f getting the agility training underway, um, there's not much... 
there's not much to, to concentrate on. Yep, see that stamina, see that stress reduction. That is all, that is all fine. So yeah, you, 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 okay. Let's just, let's literally keep this, keep this the sort of same. Right, as you can see, every time we're deploying people um, over to these, to these PT sessions, because that is what they are, they're personal training sessions, uh, we lose, we lose a training point. These points refresh at the end of the week. And that is, uh, and that is what, what it is. What is your major malfunction? What is your major malfunction? Indeed, right. Um, let us assign an MOD, whatever the heck that means. Anyway, it's assigning a role, um, which is kind of which is kind of interesting. Now, the unfortunate reality is is that I don't think that anyone here is technically going to be qualified to be a rifleman. Um, yeah, so everybody can be infantry, but I don't think anyone can be can be a rifleman. I think that our agility or whatever it is is too low. So anyway, everyone's going to become infantry, which I think, to be honest, for our first batch of recruits is not too bad. Um, it's not necessarily the end of the world. Boom. Right, we're into week two already. Uh, Ten until the mission. That is fantastic. Now, I should point out, if we go to the calendar here, uh, there's a bunch of different events that happen each and every week, and we need to make sure that, uh, that we're able to adapt. So, for example, we got the postman visiting this week, uh, week 7, 10, and 5 as well. Uh, we've also got an inspection on 4, 8, and 12, as well as some competitions on 3, 9, and 6. So that's worth bearing in mind. What's the postman saying? Uh, not so apparently had a subscription... Not so. Is that a recruit's name? Uh, had a subscription to Shift, a gearhead magazine. Somebody has thoughtfully forwarded it to this address. Let it through, sure. Not so received a mechanics magazine, Intelligence Plus Two. Um, that's good, because we need to do intelligence training in order to in order to get Not so uh, to lose his dumb trait. That is definitely worth noting. So you and you into agility training. Uh, hopefully we don't fail. Um, I don't think that we're gonna fail probably not fail yet because stamina is still above is still above 90 uh, it's still in a pretty good place actually yep beautiful 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 we've also got 30 prestige points which is kind of nice we can look at getting some upgrades here uh what do i want to get um cannon cleaning is going to give discipline plus one what does discipline actually do discipline gives us it also increases stamina by the way discipline gives us uh, affects the chance to flee combat. Right, so discipline is literally going to determine whether the, whether my troops uh, abandon me. Training points are over. Oh, training, training points, points are over. over. Training points are over, apparently, I'm, I'm being told. That's fine. Uh, you know what, let's just spend... We'll spend one point on that, and then maybe we'll save up for the unit run or the running track because that's going to be that's going to be quite useful. Okay, uh, next week. So, so far, nothing too major. Six extra training points. New competitions are available. That is marvelous. Uh, you're still dumb, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not exactly ideal. Uh, oh. Press F9 to wishlist the, the game on Steam. Is that Do really what it... touch your sergeant! What Ooh. is your major malfunction? What is your major malfunction? That's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez, Louise. Anyway, uh, as you can see, cannon clearing, that's what we can do now. It is worth noting that that is, that that is something that we can do. Um, we can participate in this competition. I'm honestly not overly convinced that it's going to be uh, a super worthwhile uh, endeavor, but, you know, we'll, we'll give it a shot anyway. Uh, so there are some rewards for finishing, you know, first, second, and third, and we require primarily strength and agility. Um, it doesn't cost us any prestige to take part. I guess I might as well. You know, whatever. We'll give it a shot. Um, it is going to absolutely exhaust our troops, though, so it is worth uh, bearing that in mind. Right. Um, the two traits that we needed, strength and agility. Uh, let's, give, let's give it to not so... Sure, I need kind of the other two guys to, to remain, uh, to remain, like, in good condition, hopefully, so that we can continue, um, to train them up in the agility department. Anyway, uh, as I say, not so, uh, what a terrible name, honestly, that's an awful nickname. It's looking good-ish. That looks okay. How did we finish? Oh, we finished second. Hey, that's marvelous. Anyway, um, it's over like three, uh, it's over three matches and we don't have to participate in them all. Uh, and we do get some training benefit from them. I'm going to stick not so in, um, uh, again. Now, this is a little bit of a risky maneuver because, um, not so stamina is going to be way down. Um, but not so is also probably one of the most qualified people that we have here. And looks like he might finish. Is that a first finish? Oh my lordy, that is a, that's not so finishing in first. Um, his stamina is absolutely in the gutter, so I am going to play this. Um, we've got a decent lead here. we got a really, really decent lead. Can I deploy my second best? It's probably skinny. 
Let's deploy Skinny. So this is probably not going to result in a in a first place finish, but I just don't feel that confident putting Not So back onto the back onto the pitch with that low with that low level of stamina. It's more important that we get across the line. Uh, even if we get across the line in you know maybe third, fourth, or whatever, then that'll still that'll still leave us in in a decent place. Or we might just win it. I think we just won it. Oh my goodness, Skinny! Jeez, Louise, look at that. We actually aced that that competition. Holy cow! Um, everybody did take a little bit of a kicking in terms of stamina, but I mean, we're coming home with 50 prestige, so I don't think that that's, I don't think that that's anything to sniff at. That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, Lunchbox still has 92 stamina. Um, we'll get you immediately doing agility training. Uh, not so, you are like, you are, I mean, you're tired, dude. Uh, Skinny, you are also kind of tired, and the problem with deploying Skinny is because, because of the perk... Because of the fat perk, we are going to, uh, yeah, we're going to have a 50% chance probability to fail in strength, agility, and melee trainings. Which I don't like. Which I don't like. So I think that we're going to deploy you up to here, up to cannon clearing. Although I know for a fact that that's going to cost us two training points. That's just something that we're going to need to deal with. Now, the other thing that we need to bear in mind is that we can get this guardhouse. That is probably pretty important to, to get. Uh, alternatively, we could upgrade... Could upgrade the cannon clearing. Let's get let's get this. Do I want to get anything else? This equipment allows training in the mud to improve strength and melee. This pool allows for water training to improve agility and discipline. Adds diver qualification or shooting range. Uh, adds sniper qualification. What do I care about? Sniper, melee ability, or diver qualification? Discipline and agility. I think I kind of like the idea of a swimming pool. Let's get a swimming pool. Let's let's see what happens there, and then we'll try and sort of like level up here. I also should probably I should probably get yeah plus three recruits. This is a passive that I probably want to get. There's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Yeah, not available in the demos. So we can pretty much go up to this up to this line right here. I need to try and get this as well. Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. That's worth bearing in mind. Anyway, let's build some new equipment, shall we? Uh, Sit-ups, cleaning the rifle. Let's get a PT area over there. Let's get a swimming pool over here. Thank goodness it doesn't actually cost us anything. That's marvelous. You back into agility. And you can... I mean, we don't have any way to intelligently train people. But we can do a run. We can do a run. That is worth, that is worth noting. Start a unit run gives us strength melee, but it does deduct stamina, which is unfortunate because that is that is quite a lot of stamina. Ooh, look at that! We actually managed to get rid of the trait. Um, we will we'll see how that sort of um, how that comes through in a little bit. Right, let's do. Oh yeah, okay, we can't do that. We can't do that yet. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Twenty percent chance to fail just because you're dumb. Okay. Sure, okay, yeah, just whatever, just do whatever, just do whatever, it doesn't really matter, just get the training points done, get the week done, happy days, uh, we'll move on to the next week. Have we got anything else happening next week? We've got an inspection happening next week. Cool, alright, the gun cleaning is apparently going quite well, marvellous. Okay, lunchbox, trait removed, brilliant, we've got an extra plus 10 prestige points, that is marvellous. Uh, right, so, what have we got here? Uh, oh, we can do rifle cleaning, which is intelligence training, which I think I'm probably going to get, right? Um, we don't have... Uh, we don't have a real need for melee, but I'll take intelligence. Right, how's everyone's stamina? It's not great. It's not great. And the reason that it's not great is because the senior instructor uh, rates me based on, based on stamina. One recruit with stamina above 80, we get prestige for that. Two recruits with stress below 20, we get 10 prestige for that. Uh, if we had three recruits... Um, all of their stamina is above 80, and if we had three recruits with all of their stress less than 20, then we'd get even more prestige points. But I gotta be honest, I don't think that we can really complain there uh, altogether too much. Right, this lowers stamina, but it increases agility and discipline. I think that's I think that's kind of what we're after. Um, although, unfortunately, you're gonna have to do... You're gonna have to do this. There's still a 20% chance for you to fail, but I think that we need to try and just get that get that out of you. Uh, you need to do... Oh, yeah, your stamina is low, and you got a 50% chance to fail, and I kind of can't be tolerating that. It might be worth me getting the guardhouse here, but I also really want to save for no man's land. Let's get... 
let's get you over here. So that's actually going to increase your stress, but it's going to—it's—it's it's also going to increase the stamina. Ooh, you failed to, to to gain anything from intelligence training, and you're also dumb. No, that's a bit of a shame. Sure, you know what? Let's put you in swimming. I like it. I like that a lot. I feel like we got a good thing going here. All right. Well, the inspection went well. That's okay. Oh my goodness, you failed again. You failed twice. Oh, do not look inside the barrel. That seems like exactly something not so would do. You hate to see it. He failed three times in a row. My goodness gracious me. That is that is truly, truly awful. <laughs> this is the best of the bunch. Jeez Louise. Okay, right. What's your stamina looking like? You're still, unfortunately, you still unfortunately have that negative trait that we need to try and kick. Oh, you're becoming a diver. That's pretty cool. 20% chance to fail. You know what? We're going to keep throwing you back in there. Keep throwing you back in. Agility, 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 agility. It is always pretty much worth us swimming, right? Because we get that extra discipline. Yeah, you are just stamina too low. Okay, right. We're going to need to get... Hold on. First, let's check out what's going on down here. Um, hey, Sarge, I got a heavy crate that I just can't move. Must be my kitchen's lard. Unfortunately, we don't have any strong cooks. Not so has been posted a letter. Let it through. Stress minus three. You'll love to see it. Not so is unfortunately not very stressed out. In fact, nobody's really that stressed out. But yeah, nobody's exactly like overly happy with the situation. extra discipline from that. I think we want to do... I think we want to get the guardhouse. I actually do think that that's kind of important. And you know what? I think I'll... I'll do the, I'll do an upgrade to the guardhouse as well. And we'll get not so... Recruit has already begun a training program. That's unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate that he's, that he's started that. That's fine, though. Ooh, the trade has disappeared. That's marvelous. Uh, should we just get everyone to do... Uh, sure, you know what? Everyone can just go swimming. We'll get everyone to go swimming. I like swimming. I think the swimming is good. I think the swimming is good. We need to try and get as many... As many interesting things as we possibly can. Yeah. All right, yeah, you failed. I know you failed. I know you failed. And they require two training points. There's nothing much that we can really do about that, is there? Right, well, everyone's going to be super unbelievably agile at the end of this. What does agile mean? For stealth operations? Well, I hope we have the opportunity to do stealth operations. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Okay. Uh, right. So let's go to the next week and see what's up. New competitions available. Skinny trait removed. Brilliant. Oh, you love to see it. Fantastic. Right. Not so. You're going here. You're going here, and you're going to chill out for... I think it's the entire, the entire session. We've got the competition. Should we do the competition? Again, the competition is good. It's very, very good, in fact. We've been doing a lot of agility training. Let's do... I got, I've got points available. I mean, we can't upgrade the swimming pool, unfortunately. Actually, no, tell a lie. We actually, we actually can. Combatant diver. We can't do that. You know what? Sure, give me the upgrade. Give me the upgrade to the pool. Uh, probably should have got that last time, but I kind of couldn't really... Um, we'll do, we'll do like one pool session and then we'll go and, in fact, actually, I think we can do two pool sessions. We'll do two pool sessions and then we'll, we'll go across. I actually really, really like the fact that we're training discipline at the same time as training agility. And that will become clear. That will become clear. I know that, um, I know that we're sort of in a bit of a, a bit of an unknown phase at the moment. It's a bit of a, bit of a nebulous place to be. Uh, we can still join the competition, though. I knew we, I knew we could. This might not, this might not work out. This might not work out. It might be a disaster. Oh, not so is technically here, even though he doesn't have much, much on him. Uh, you know what? I actually think that both of these, both of these chaps, Lunchbox and, uh, and Skinny, they're actually both pretty decent. I mean, early lead, don't want to jinx it yet, but I mean, it looks like at least a second place finish. Maybe even a first place finish, actually. Yeah, Wow. Okay, so Skinny can't really do much more, I'm afraid. I think, um, yeah, Skinny has perhaps exhausted himself maybe a little bit too much. 
But that being said, I mean, if we get another... Might even be another first... Is that another first finish? I mean... Wow? I feel like these competitions shouldn't be this easy. Um... We're gonna chance it. I mean, this is... It, it, stamina is low, so things might go badly wrong here, but... I mean... Oh my god. That's three for three! And we still have stamina. What? Excuse me? Um... We kind of bossed it, actually. We kind of bossed it. Right, no man's land. I want the extra recruits. I want the extra recruits. What do we got? Reveals info based on so soldier level. Sniper, not available in the demo. Uh, right, so I want that. I do want the shooting range. We're going to get no man's land now. Sure. We don't need to upgrade that. I do want to get the plus three recruits. That that seems like super darned useful. Yeah, there's no more. There's no more of anything that we can really do. So let's just go to the next week. That's fine. Right. I should point out, by the way, I know that this is a bit weird to be doing 21 minutes in, but um, but this is the same developer uh, that developed uh, Last Plane. Last Plane was it Last Plane Home? I think it was Last Plane. I think it was Last Plane Home, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I really rated that game. Let me have a look. Uh, until the last plane. Not the last plane home. I do apologize. Uh, yeah, I really rated that game. Very, very good. And uh, this is a good one too. Right. Not So is still, unfortunately, needs to spend time uh, doing some rifle training, training intelligence and whatnot. You probably need to chill out at the guard cabin. But can we maybe upgrade the guard's cabin? I mean, that would be really good if we could, but... Not going to be that useful. Not so has been posted a letter with a ring in the envelope. Let it through. Uh, ooh, stress 10, discipline minus 5. That's a real kicker because discipline is very, very difficult to uh, to modify. Right, you're still unfortunately dumb and your discipline is negative now. That sucks. You know what? Keep, keep, keep swimming. Keep swimming. That's fine. We still haven't gone on a run. Uh, we unlocked a running track, but we still haven't gone on a run. That's fine. Wow, your discipline is in a really bad place. Hopefully you can get it back somehow. Treat it like your best girl or it'll foul it'll foul you up entirely. Yeah, that's a bit a bit raw, Why dude. Did you click on me? Do you like me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love this. Not so trait removed dumb. Plus 10. Oh man, that's marvelous. That's great. That's really really good. Okay, so everyone's like pretty Pretty high stamina now. Pretty decent discipline. Yeah, I mean, we can do we can do a run. Melee, strength, I can do that all, and I might just do that. Uh, how's everyone's stamina? Nobody's stamina is above 80, so I'm about to get absolutely walloped by this. But stress is, like, not too bad. Yeah, stress isn't too bad. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay as it comes. Senior instructor, we've only got a decent... Uh, it's not, not a decent, not a super decent reward, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, right, in terms of in terms of the office, I do want to get the plus three recruits. We need to get that before. Uh, we need to get that before we go on the mission. That is pretty darn important. There's no training this week. Uh, should anyone go to do? Yeah, you need to go and do this for sure. The diver trait is that going to make a blind bit of difference? I'm not sure that it is. I think I just kind of want to train everyone up in swimming, honestly. I kind of like the fact that we're getting good at swimming, you know? It feels like a decent skill. It is tiring people out, but it's only tiring people out like ever so, ever so slightly. Plus, again, the discipline is, the discipline is pretty good. Um, we do need to train strength, and that is, that is something that I'm acutely aware of. Like, everybody needs strength, so I think that we probably should go on a run. Uh, next week. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. New competitions available. Brilliant. We'll do that. Uh, everyone should have decent stamina. Pretty low stress on the whole. All of the traits have been purged, which is marvelous. We've got the opportunity to do a competition. Let's go on a run. Let's go on a run. Um, we can select a cadence, by the way, uh, which is kind of cool. 
Nice. Look at this. Look at these. Look at these happy little people. Oh, what do we got here? A stray dog has come sniffing around. Feed it. Try and adopt it as a mascot. The dog does not want to be collared. He ran away. That's unfortunate. Look at this. These guys are so happy. Time's up. Um, okay, do we want to take part in the competition? I mean, everyone's stamina is, like, decent. Everyone is pretty freaking buff, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got the posty, nothing in week 11, and then an inspection in week 12. I, I mean, I, I'm, like, two for two in terms of competitions. Why don't make it three for three? I mean, again, why not just torpedo our... Torpedo everybody's stamina. Man, we have really, like, leveled up our people. Um, still, again, strength is something that I do want to... I do want to buff out a little bit. Um, and that'll become clear, like, very, very soon. I think maybe we're gonna go for the approach of, um... Second place ain't bad. Uh, we're gonna go for the... We're gonna go for the sort of... We're gonna give everyone a chance. We're gonna give everyone a chance to... To, to run in these races. Uh, but certainly, you can kind of start to see... You can kind of start to see how we're molding our troops into a, uh, a combat-ready squadron or something. Uh, and I'm honestly, I honestly think, I mean, regardless of how we do here, we're still going to come home with prestige, I think. I don't think there's any way that we don't, unless Cape Norick wins first and Jackson School wins second, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, we crushed it again. Um, wow, that's three for three in terms of competitions. We have invested a lot of effort and energy into getting these people to where they are, but, I mean, they've rewarded me with a lot of prestige, so I don't think I can complain about that at all. Uh, stamina is, on the whole, a little bit low, but I think that we can just about cope with that. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, you can kind of see how the troops are getting molded into what you want to, to, uh, you, what you want them to do. And I'm going to take this three recruits bonus right now, which is very, very cool. That's not available in the demo. Uh, upgrade the pool. I like the idea of upgrading the pool. I also want to get the No Man's Land, um, upgrade. Yeah, we're gonna get that upgrade uh, rolled out, but I'm also gonna upgrade the swimming pool because that seems like an absolute no-brainer if I want everyone to swim, uh, which is apparently what I want to do. Skinny has been posted a particularly thick letter. Hold it until graduation. I'm gonna hold it. I've learned my lesson. Right, we're gonna change this training. This training is gonna become something else. Melee... Uh, in fact, just change equipment. Yeah, make it no man's land. It's going to be prepared next week. We're week 10, so that's fine. Uh, you're working on the diver trait. You're working on the diver trait. Uh, I mean, do I want everyone to do strength training? I think I actually do want everyone to do strength training. Should that maybe mean that we do... Yeah, I think that actually maybe means we do another run. And the reason being is that if I was to send all of these individuals over to, to do regular strength training... Um, then we would get, like, at maximum two points of strength training on everyone. Uh, it is going to cost us a little bit of extra stamina to do another run. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because that's going to be plus three strength on everyone. Plus, like, you know, all unit exercises brings everyone together. Or something. Like I know what I'm talking about. Right, this costs us 40 prestige to unlock. We still can unlock the upgrades to the cannon clearing. Get the upgrade to the guardhouse as well. Um... Oh, we can get another cadence, agility and discipline. That might be worth that might be worth doing. Might be worth doing. Yeah, okay. This is looking really good. Everybody's looking really, really, really buff, actually, which is great. Marvelous. Okay, we got an inspection this week, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, an inspection next week. Which is what I'm a bit worried about, because I think. I think we need to try and I think we need to try and maybe increase people's stamina. I don't know if everybody goes into the mission. I don't know if everyone goes into the mission with full stamina. So you know what? Let me pop an upgrade on the guardhouse. We'll do that. Uh, who's the person in the worst condition? It's you. 90 stamina minus 30 stress. That's perfect. Uh, let's also get an upgrade to this. Beautiful. Um, it's not going to do much, but it'll do enough. We'll get you, and we'll put this on there. Crawl in the muds. Uh, what did that upgrade? That upgraded melee as well. Uh, you know what? I think I can do that. Sure. Again, I'm not completely 
sold on that. And of course, we can still get the upgrades to the No Man's Land, which will, you know, make it very much more beneficial uh, per, per run. Um, but that's fine for now. Okay, cool. So that's you. Everybody seems to be pretty, pretty buffed. Again, like stamina is on the whole low. Uh, but stress is okay. Oh, you f Grand did you fail? I think you might have failed. Okay, well, that's fine. It is what it is. Last week before the mission, plus six training points. Um, the inspector is going to come and give me a real, a real hammering, no doubt about it. Let's go send you over here. Brilliant. Let's send you in there. And you are perfect in pretty much every way. So we'll send you over to here, which is probably the most bang for your buck that we're going to get. Right, what's the inspector going to say? Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. It could be better. It could be better. No points available. Uh, do I want to upgrade that? I feel like that's not a bad idea to upgrade. I'll get an upgrade to that, sure. 38 agility, 40 discipline. We got a lot of pretty disciplined pretty disciplined chaps, to be honest. Right, crawl through the mud. Chant some more. And then let's move into the, the next stage of the game, which is also very interesting in its own way, and kind of like absolutely, totally, categorically different to this. Again, it'll be interesting to see if we if we sort of end on the full stamina, um, but there we go. Congrats, recruits. You've been promoted from maggots to wannabe men. Do not embarrass me during deployment. Hoorah. Hoorah, indeed. Okay, the mission. The recruits you assigned to their MODs have completed their first mission. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, right, so I don't think that stamina means anything, which is actually fine. Um, it is worth noting. Okay, so this is this is very very important alpha. This is the squad. This is squad number alpha squad number alpha I don't know. Anyway, we have starting supplies as I sort of said starting supplies um, are modified by strength um, So by getting Pretty decently strong people um, we will be able to we'll be able to increase our number of starting supplies Firepower everyone's firepower seems pretty lame. Um, we get bonuses based on the infantry class is one HP per level These guys are all level one, so it's gonna have pretty much uh, zero impact um, But there we go Okay, um, this is This is it. This is it. We start with lunchbox not so and skinny. We got all this information at our fingertips um, it'll become it'll become pretty clear as we go. And anyway, we kind of just play this mission. We got 17 supplies. Um, we need to get two here to free the imprisoned VIP. Um, but on our way, uh, we consume supplies to move around. Scout required. So this is where the reconnaissance um, intel would have come in would have come in handy. And um, we're gonna go into it. Um, there's a couple of opportunities, uh, perhaps to flex our skills, for example, in agility or in shooting. Um, kill the guards. Uh, lunchbox will try to sneak through the camp. Enter the camp without being seen. The civilians are now free. A helicopter will arrive and bring them home. 15 prestige and uh, 3 agility for lunchbox as well. That's fantastic. Uh, but again, it costs supplies. Now, we can pick up supplies if we're fortunate, if we come across an event. Um, but otherwise, we pretty much need to just beeline straight for the objective. Now, there is usually... There is usually, like, more between us and the objective... But I guess on this occasion, there's not. Now, um, this is kind of where things get a little bit spicy. Um, and yeah, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly happy that I didn't, uh, that I didn't train my soldiers up to shoot. Now, depending on where we deploy these, uh, deploy these chaps, uh, we can actually, we can actually increase our, our, <laughs> our, our opportunity to be hit. Uh, but also our shooting and also our firepower. Now, I mean, I don't think anyone's shooting is actually particularly good. In fact, I actually think legitimately everybody's shooting is pretty darn bad. But if I deploy everyone at the back here, then we can just <laughs> we just sort of hope that we can outlast them. I'm not really hopeful about this. I'm not overly hopeful. Although, 
Okay, lunchbox has fled. Um, that's unfortunate. That's where discipline really ends up making the the, the difference there. Um, these guys have cover. Um, reloading, reloading is relatively slow. There is like a little icon there that dictates how fast it is. I'm hopeful about this, unless we see another retreat. But both of these guys, I think, have higher discipline. Uh, but as I say, this guy being behind cover is a little bit of a pain in the backside. Retreat. Come on. He retreated. Whoa, we did it. We actually did it. Okay. Um, so Lunchbox got a kill and then fled. Not so just fled. And Skinny got two kills um, before the other chump uh, before the other chump retreated. That is kind of marvelous. We got 65 prestige. Um, but I think Alpha Alpha Squadron is left with only with only one person, with only one person in it. Now the the thing is, mission results. Um did we actually do it? I don't know if we technically did. Uh, you'll have a new class of recruits in 12 weeks to, to train them. I don't know if we actually... Oh, yes, I will absolutely upgrade you. That's brilliant. Yeah, I don't know if we... Um, I don't know if we actually technically did it there. I mean, I don't think that we did. I think the whole point is that you're supposed to go, uh, go around again, which I, of course, have no issue doing. Um, I would point out, by the way, that we now have about a billion... Uh, more percentage chance points to win uh, because we have got look at look at all this we've got a huge number of recruits we don't have any of the OGs I believe um, I don't think so what do you want um, equipment buy before the end of week 12 a shooting range <laughs> no worries at all buddy I can absolutely do that in fact we'll do that right now and I will actually upgrade the shooting range as well and we'll also upgrade the mud and we'll also get reconnaissance I mean I I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that we're going to be able to... I mean, look at look at all of this. Seriously, look at all this. Uh, that's the agility that we got rid of. We can get rid of this area as well. So that trains strength and melee. Yeah, so we don't need the strength area anymore. We'll get the shooting range. Boom, we'll get that. And then we're just going to get people prepared. I mean, this is an incredible, incredible, incredible amount of, of training points that we have each and every week. Now, let's check everybody's abilities that we want to that we want to get removed. 40% uh, chance to fail water-based activity. If they fail, there's a 10% chance to leave camp. This trait will be removed with water-based activities. Yikes. Plus 20... Plus 20 prestige. Uh, always gains less from shooting. 10% chance to leave after an activity on the shooting range. Trait will be removed at the shooting range. Goodness gracious me. Always get less from training. Straight will be removed when stamina is less than 50. And insomniac. Right. So, I mean, do we want to... I think we kind of just want to make people face their fears. I know that it kind of sounds like an awful, awful thing to do, but... I think we got to. Yeah, I think we have to. Oh, your trade has already been removed. Congrats. Um, these guys who just need to give the most, like, punishing stamina-inducing activities. He failed the last. Okay, that's fine. Nervous. You're still nervous. Zone is full. Yeah, not much we can do about that. Um, you're ready to go again. I mean, man, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Sure, you can do intelligence work. You still training, points are over. training points are over. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. I am content to content to deal with that. Right, so what do we need to get in terms of an upgrade? We need to get the, the extra cadence. Not particularly sure it really matters. Reconnaissance is probably more worthwhile. Um, assign MOD. Now, can we get any riflemen here? Stats too low. Level too low. Can we really not get any riflemen? Really? Really? Okay, fear of water removed, 20 prestige. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so I don't think that we ended up assigning anyone um, the points there, but hey-ho. Right, can we get the reconnaissance trait, please? Yep, let's do it. Uh, grenade training, that's not available in the demo either. That's fine. Reveals encounter evil based on soldier level. Okay, that's that's okay. Right, who's got the fear of water? Put you back in there. You're still nervous. 
You're nervous. You're an insomniac. Yeah, what does the insomniac do? Always get less from training. Um, yes, I guess we're going to absolutely pummel these guys at the competition. We're going to force them to, to run. Uh, Nappy apparently had a subscription to Red Rifle. Let it through. Hey, there we go. That's handy. Trait none, trait none. Uh, have we lost two people? I think we lost two people. I think we lost two people. You know what? Maybe let's just train everyone in shooting. Just train everyone in shooting. Like, literally just everyone. Yeah, losing two people kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But also, not the end of the world. Let's do it. Okay. Leveling up, that's nice. Uh, is that going to allow us to assign a role in the future? I have absolutely no idea. We'll have to see. Nice, you leveled up as well. Perfect. Okay. Still an insomniac, still an insomniac. Yeah, these guys really, really suck. I do not like this. I do not like this even one tiny little bit. But I'm at least glad that our um that our that our that our chaps that had a, a fear of swimming um ended up ended up managing to to get it out of them. Oh, I know just like that, the demo is the demo is literally over. Well, I tell you what, that's actually well, for our purposes, um pretty okay because we managed to accomplish um, pretty much everything that we needed to accomplish over Great the course. Over. You, cannot drag me, you, fool. you cannot drag me, you fool. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. This is it. Um, this is it. I like it. I like this. I like this a lot. This this gets two thumbs up for me. I'm actually really excited to see where this um where this game goes. Full Metal Sergeant. Uh, last plane home. It's, it's good. It's a body of work. I like it. It's very, very cool indeed. Uh, I, I really like how you're having to make decisions about exactly what equipment you're going to be carrying into, uh, your troops are going to be carrying into battle. Uh, it's a little bit disconcerting to, you know, basically train them up with absolutely no idea what the requirements for, for battle uh, are. But, I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's war, you know? I guess it's combat. Um, and it's 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 unknown, uh, but certainly two thumbs up for me. Very very excited to see where this game goes. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, without further ado, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap this one up. Thank you ever so much for sticking around right until the end. If you want to check out the Patreon, please do feel free to head on over to there, patreoncom forward slash orbital potato, where you can help make videos like this possible. Uh, but for now, and for me, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.